Curious celebrated its centennial with events where some special guests shared their stories, including great grandchildren of the Curious. Well, I think it's wonderful that it's kept up and renovated and kept contemporary with the student, with the way students live now. Look at the pool tables here in this room and ping pong tables, and that wasn't there long, long ago. They had a barber or a, a beauty salon and a soda fountain. <laughs> Named after Dean Amos Courier, the dorm was made to hold 110 women. Today, it holds over 600 young women and men. Though it looks similar on the outside, many changes have happened below its roof. One monumental change was in 1946, when Courier became one of the first desegregated dormitories in the country. The fall semester of that year, a group of five uh, African-American women students applied to the residence hall office to live in Courier Hall, and their applications were accepted. But while the building was a part of the landscape during civil rights movements, women couldn't even vote when it was erected. While Amos Courier was a professor, a dean, and at one time the president of the university, his wife was marginalized. His uh, wife, Celia Courier, was a longtime instructor of mathematics at the university. She was never assigned or awarded the role of professor, and a lot of historians, I think, would suspect that it was owing to sexism of the time. After a hundred years, Courier Hall still remains. It stands as both a piece of history and a reminder of progress at Iowa and in America. I, I hope it's here for a hundred more years. Who knows? I won't know that, but I hope some people who will. <laughs> Reporting from the University of Iowa, I'm Katie Stites, Daily Iowan TV.